Hello juniors continuing the series of upper limb today we are going to cover the topic clavi pectoral fascia it is a short topic yet a very important topic from university exam point of view and is generally asked in 5 marks or 8 marks as a short note so stay tuned with me to exclusively cover this topic clavi pectoral fascia In today's topic we are going to cover extent of fascia and structure piercing the fascia these two topic covers the whole clavi pectoral fascia so starting with the topic first understanding its terminology clavi pectoral fascia what does clavi pectoral here means clavicular portion of pectoralis major you must have seen the pectoralis major muscle so its upper part means clavicular portion clavicular portion of pectoralis major muscle here clavi pectoral means clavicular portion of pectoralis major and fascia means a fibrous membrane covering supporting and separating muscles so when you will dissect the cadaver and you will dissect out pectoralis major beneath pectoralis major you will see a thin white fibrous cloth like sheath that is called as fascia so fascia means a fibrous membrane covering supporting and separating muscles let me show you through this diagram so in this diagram we have we are able to see this fascia can you see this white covering extending from clavicle up till here we have dissected out pectoralis major muscle so beneath the pectoralis major is present the clavi pectoral fascia this is from clavicle to this point this is the clavi pectoral fascia white fibrous now extension extends from clavicle above to axillary fascia below which i was showing you earlier clavicle above and clavi pectoral fascia downwards continues as axillary fascia you must remember this starting from clavicle above to downwards up till axillary fascia next point upper part splits to enclose subclavius muscle showing you in uh, another diagram this is the diagram from vishram singh we have cut this portion in this way so the clavicle divides into two and we are viewing from this side in this way this is our clavicle this is our clavicle this is subclavius muscle pectoralis major and pectoralis minor so what here given is upper part splits to enclose subclavius muscle this forms the clavi pectoral fascia you must remember fascia above the clavicle is not clavi pectoral fascia fascia above the clavicle is deep cervical fascia investing layer of deep cervical fascia so the upper part splits to enclose subclavius muscle here upper part splits you can see here two lamina splits to enclose this subclavius muscle this subclavius muscle is enclosed and then it continues downwards it continues downwards 
and then again it splits to cover pectoralis minor muscle. Upper part splits to enclose subclavius muscle and then continues downwards and then again splits and covers pectoralis minor muscle. Here what it is given. Posterior lamina fused upper part splits to enclose subclavius muscle and posterior lamina fused with investing layer of deep cervical fascia. These, this posterior lamina fused with investing layer of deep cervical fascia. This is investing layer of deep cervical fascia. This is anterior side. This is posterior side. So this is posterior lamina fuses with deep cervical fascia. Continuing forward, medially it is attached to external intercostal muscle. Showing you through another diagram. Medially it is attached to these are external intercostal muscles. So medially at this side it is attached to external intercostal muscles. Laterally to coracoid process, this is the coracoid process, medially to external intercostal muscle, laterally to coracoid process and inferiorly encloses pectoralis minor and continues as suspensory ligament. As I told you earlier, it inferiorly continues as Firstly, it encloses pectoralis minor and then continues as suspensory ligament. Here this, this fascia thickens and forms suspensory ligament. Showing you via help of another diagram. This was our clavicle. This is subclavius muscle. This is pectoralis minor muscle. So here, clavipectoral fascia splits and encloses pectoralis minor. Here it continues downwards. This is pectoralis minor. It continues downwards to form suspensory ligament. Suspensory, this is suspensory ligament. And this suspensory ligament continues as axillary fascia. Can you appreciate in this diagram? Yeah. Pectoralis major, pectoralis minor, pectoralis minor enclosed via clavipectoral fascia continues downward as suspensory ligament and then suspensory ligament continues as axillary fascia. So we are done with medially it is attached to external intercostal muscle, laterally to coracoid process, inferiorly encloses pectoralis minor and continues as suspensory ligament. Now structure piercing the fascia. So this fascia is pierced by few structures which come from inside to outside. Here you can see few structures. This marked from blue one is the vein, any one of the artery and nerve, vein, artery, nerve. So we are going to see what are the structure pierced by, structure piercing the fascia. Here First one is the lateral pectoral nerve. Lateral pectoral nerve is the one from is the one we have studied in brachial plexus from our anterior cord. From no from our lateral cord. Lateral pectoral nerve is a branch of 
lateral cord of a brachial plexus. Second is our cephalic vein. Third is thoracoacromial artery. This is branch of axillary artery and lymphatics. So here the mnemonic will be C A double L call. C stands for cephalic vein. A stands for thoracoacromial artery. L stands for lymphatic. L stands for lateral pectoral nerve. C for cephalic vein. A for thoracoacromial artery. This is thoracoacromial artery is basically branch of axillary artery. L for lymphatics and L for lateral pectoral nerve. Visualizing this with the help of this diagram. This is our subclavius muscle enclosed. This is lateral pectoral nerve which pierces from inside to outside of this fascia. Lateral pectoral nerve, thoracoacromion artery and this is cephalic vein. Apical and these are lymph node piercing the fascia. So with the help of this one diagram we can revise the whole topic that is it starts from clavicle extends up to axillary fascia downward splits above and encloses subclavius muscle and then encloses the pectoralis minor and then continues as suspensory ligament and suspensory ligament joints with axillary fascia. Structure piercing the fascia are lateral pectoral nerve, lymphatics, thoracoacromial artery and cephalic vein. This is the diagram from Vishram Singh. This is the same. Lateral pectoral nerve, lymphatics, cephalic vein and thoracoacromial artery. This is the diagram showing the extent of fascia from clavicle downwards to this is axillary fascia. In medial side it is attached to external intercostal space and laterally up to coracoid process. This colored part shows the extent of fascia. So we are all done with this topic. So we have covered extent of fascia and structure piercing the fascia covering our whole clavipectoral fascia topic. Hope you find my video a bit helpful for you and university exams. Thank you.